and thank you for inviting me also to be present here. Uh, I'm representing CONCORD, which is the European Confederation of Relief and Development in, uh, NGOs, representing more than 1,600 NGOs in Europe. But I'm also the co-chair of the European Multi-Stakeholder Group, which has been mentioned several times. I have an idea to uh, divide my presentation in three parts. Uh, first, going very quickly through about the existing commitments, then trying to give the arguments why we need the European strategy and then some ideas about how should it look like. It has been mentioned many times that there are some, or I would say quite a lot of commitments already. Ten years ago, the Council of uh, Europe made the resolution about the development education really quite clearly saying how important the development education is. Maastricht Global Education Con Congress has been mentioned several times. It was also a very good starting point also coming together a lot of different kind of actors working together, very good concrete action plan, but unfortunately it wasn't a politically binding document, and that's, that's perhaps one of the questions what I'm really asking for. As we know, we have the European Development Consensus, which was exactly started in 2005. We also have the development education as a part of that. But from our point of view, who really think that it's not enough there were this need for having the more concrete outcome of the development education side. And the European Development Education's multi-stakeholder process was created in 2006 during the Finnish presidency in Helsinki Development Education Conference. And that led to the European Development Education Consensus, which was unveiled by the European Development Commissioner Louis Michel and the European Development Days 2007 in, in Lisbon. And that development education consensus lines out principles, objectives, and challenges for development education and contains recommendations also for various actors. That also, the development education consensus really brings together a broad range of state and non-state actors, such as national development agencies and ministries, international organizations, namely Council of Europe, OECD, etc., civil society platforms. And it has been very um, referred as, as a really the main document in this sector so far. But again, the problem was that it wasn't really a politically binding document. In parallel with that, also the European Parliament has made several recommendations and resolutions. Again, you can find quite good wording on, on the development education. And also European Commission, has, as has been mentioned several times, after the uh, general evaluation of the development education actions uh, funded by the, over the 10 years, Commission made the evaluation and also included development education as a part of the structured dialogue process. And as you can see, again, we have a lot of good argumentation why the development education is very, very important. But still we are lacking for the strategy. And I would argue that we definitely need the European strategy. <coughs> and there are several points which I, I would like to clarify why we need this. The first of all, we need to have the conceptual clarity, as all my colleagues have mentioned several times. While, for example, public relations might have been considered as a part of the development education some years ago, there is today a consensus that development education is not concerned with charity, organizational publicity, or public relations exercises. On the other hand, concepts like global learning, active global citizenship, education for sustainable development, and development education as a global endeavor involved. But the EU should be able to state clearly its own concept for development education. Secondly, we need the institutional recognition of the development education as a policy field is crucial to assure consistent development education policies in the longer run in terms of organizational financial resources ded dedicated for, for this work. Thirdly, the long-term direction, especially now when the next budget, um, financial frame uh, on, on the process we need a strategy which would allow the European Commission and the European Union to outline a long-term perspective for its development education activities, 
beyond the European Commission actional, uh, annual action program of the development cooperation instrument, which reduce development education as a minor activity within the civil society ODA funding. Fourthly, we need the creation of synergies and coherence between different actors. While objectives number two of the Europe Aid NSA LA program is among the most important funding sources for development education, the scope of development education goes beyond ODA, and activities related to active global citizenships are already implemented for a range of EC programs, for example, under the DG Education and Culture and DG Environment. The strategy would have the potential to operationalize cooperation between different EC services, but also clarifying roles and complementarity with the other non-EC actors, such as member states and civil society, and possibly reinforce the role of the European Development Education multi-stakeholder process. And lastly, quality evaluation and learning. A dedicated EU strategy, including measures and action plan, would allow to monitor systematically the effectiveness and impact of actions and facilitate steady organizational learning and improve quality actions. How should it look like? There is the first proposal. We believe that the good basis for the strategy would be the European Development Education Consensus. Because the consensus has been widely agreed, it's used as a reference document by the broad range of state or non-state actors, prove its values. Building on this, the recommendations also from the Commission Year study and its particular core recommendations could form the more operational part of the strategy, in particular concerning their activities, also beyond this particular budget line. It could outline the EU overall objectives in development education and clarify the following aspects in specific objectives. As you can see, there are five different specific objectives. Coherence and coordination, including synergies between um, within EC services and complementarity with the member states. Quality and learning, including monitoring, organizational learning and knowledge management. Global perspectives, including involvement of non-European actors and global initiatives in development education and awareness raising. Grants and administration, including general easy grant mechanism, introduction of mini grants and structural support mechanism, and management of de development education within the EC, including staff roles and structures, role of the grant assessors and, and information provision. I also would like to underline this specific situation because we are now in the process building for the new multi-annual financial framework where we from the Concord point of view has made the proposal really to revisit the instrument promoting and supporting global civil society where we believe that it's, it's needing to have several aspects like the coordination of civil society, development education and awareness raising, capacity building and learning, joint learning, advocacy and campaigning. And coming really back on the point what Matthias mentioned already before, that we really need to talk about the global civil society. Such a development education strategy based on the European Commission proposals, including in the form of the communication and formally discussed and endorsed by the European Parliament and the European Council would be the milestone towards a clearer, systematic and ambitious development education policies in the European Union. And coming back on the point that we really have a lot of very good recommendations and a lot of decisions, the only thing which is missing is the, really the political binding document. Thank you very much for your attention.